The next time it snows, you want to pay close attention to the streets and especially the snow plows. Here to talk about that is Carrie Gates. She is the Fine Arts Coordinator for Roanoke City Public Schools and Susan Jennings, who is with the Roanoke Arts Commission. Susan, why don't you start us off? What's this project about? It's a partnership between the city's Public Works Department, Roanoke Arts Commission, and the school system. Exactly. Um, the Public Works folks actually came to me. They saw an example of painted snow plows in another community and said, can we do this? And the Arts Commission loved the idea. I contacted Carrie. We saw all sorts of good ways that we could work with the students, teach them a little bit about our public art program. Uh, we love public art projects that integrate the schools. We've done several before. So this was just a really fun one to pursue. And Carrie, tell us, what exactly are the students doing? Well, the students are involved in all aspects, from the uh, actual design that is going on the snow plows to the painting. Um, and teachers have really done a good job about expanding, about talking about public art and the impact that public art has on the community. And the way I understand it, 12 schools are participating, so we have 12 snow plows that they're actually decorating. Am I, am I right? That's, what have you seen so far? That's correct. And we have 12 snow plows from elementary all the way to, to high school. And we've seen the basic winter design with mittens and and, and snowflakes, which are really outstanding to uh, designs that really have incorporated public art and are taking on, you know, some real meaning. And Susan, I know you've had a chance to see a few of them too. What do you make of what you've seen so far? Yeah, so a lot of creativity, right? It's a lot of creativity. Um, I was looking at the drawings for the one at Fleming today, and um, they've really brought some social issues into it. Um, the teacher has worked with her students on how public art can have a real message to it. And when once they're all done, you give them what back to the Public Works Department, and how does that work? They go back to Public Works, and Public Works has actually figured out, um, for instance, the the snow plow that will serve the Fleming area is being painted by the Fleming students, right. so they will actually run in their neighborhood. So the bottom line is, people are actually going to see these, so be on Absolutely. the lookout for them. Be on the lookout, and I think it's you know great that the Public Works Department was able to get the snow plows in the actual neighborhoods that that the kids live in. So then, the, you know, the grandparents, the aunts and uncles, and everybody can see what a great job that they've done. Well, talk about the partnership because this is really something that works really closely, the Roanoke Arts Commission with the school system and, and the importance of that and maybe some of the successes you guys have seen. Well, I think, you know, this is the first project that I worked on with the Roanoke Arts Commission, but I know they've been involved with the school system in the past. But I think it, it's a good way to bring in the community and to demonstrate to the community that when you have a business partner, when you have a partnership, these are the kind of projects that you can do and, this, you know, the success that the students can have. It was a very important element of what we do. And Susan, what do you see as an end result? I mean, you're hoping to educate, get the kids excited about art, and this will continue right down the road when that, they become adults, right? That, that's what we're really hoping. We have some budding young artists out there and also arts enthusiasts, um, people who uh, students will learn about public art and then they'll grow up to support the public art projects in their community. What do you make of some of what you've seen here locally in terms of the young people and what they're able to produce? I mean... It's just absolutely amazing. <laughs> what, for years we had a high school art show with um, student work from out the, out the region and the city I think still does a city show and um, we've purchased some work for our public art collection from the student show because the talent is just amazing. And Carrie, I know you've been here over a year. I mean, I, do they cease to amaze you with some of their talent? Or? <laughs> no, they never cease to amaze me. And it's, it's just very uh, fantastic, the things that the teachers can pull out of the kids and, and the talent that we have. So this is a way that it gets students involved in a unique program that's, that's so different from outside of their classroom. And, and hopefully it'll make them lifelong learners of art and support the arts in our community. And back to the snow plows for a moment. Do we have any idea how long they're going to be on there? Is this a... It's a temporary project because obviously the plows, when they plow, eventually uh, they will lose the paint, but a couple of years. So they should be there for a while, and the school's name will be right on the plow, so you'll know where right. that's you'll where it came from. Exactly. That's correct. Well, this sounds like a great partnership and a great project. Congratulations, and we look forward to seeing them on the streets. Thanks, Justin. All right, Thank we'll, you. we'll be right back.